took care of me when I lost my arms and legs and was struck blind, deaf, and dumb. Hey, hey, Meg, they got a Happy Day spoof in here, but they call it Crappy Days. <laughs> uh, all right, you know what? If you're not going to laugh, then I'm not going to keep you company. Uh, Peter, I think we forgot Meg. Meg, what happened to you? She can't answer you. She can't even talk. Ever since she started smoking pot, she just kind of lays there. It's really sad. None of us could breathe. The twisted and mangled body we had come to see was far more disgusting than any of us could ever have imagined. He's nasty. Meg-chan, push to the side of your father's not just the stairs. Meg has spent two days pinned under a roof beam. Let's just focus on the stairs, Brian. I want you to destroy me. Okay. Okay. Ah, what happened to your eye? Don't worry about it, just put the lens in! But where do I put it? The pupil's gone, your eye just looks like a ping pong ball! I think it rolled up into my head, look, just, just do the other one! Ah! You look like one of those blind jazz guys! Where are you? I can't see anything! Ah! 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 I don't like this, just wear your stupid glasses! Chris, I'm blind! I'm sorry, Meg! <laughs> Meg, where are you? I'm right here, Mom. Hmm, this is most curious. It appears she was killed by our old nemesis, the Scottish Brute. That's impossible. He's in prison. I put him there myself one year ago. Nevertheless, we can't ignore the evidence. All his victims were prostitutes whose names began with the letter V. This one's name is Veronica, as evidenced by this satin softball jacket that bears her name. These threads are from a Scotsman's plaid kilt. The telltale locks of red hair. But most significantly, the Scottish brute replaced his victim's intestines with bagpipes. Ah! Wanna give it a whirl? How could he accomplish this murder from prison? He couldn't. There are only two possible explanations. Either there's a murderer who has copied the Scottish brute's methods, or I put the wrong man away. <laughs> 